if you were to put fuel in this car, where would you put it in? Where would it go, yeah? All right, let me, let me find this bad boy. <laughs> this car yeah. and you need a gas you wouldn't know where to put it in not the slightest bit all right i give up where's she at <laughs> i want to hear the story how this happened so for christmas i got my dad his car that he bought brand new back in 1971. it's a pretty incredible story we're going to pick it up next month yeah are you serious <laughs> bought this car brand new it was a 71 chevelle super sport i'll rebuild it she's home I started raising it up in the air. I wanted to check the floor pan, and the floor pan is solid from the bottom side, except for the trunk. Then I let it down, and I started taking seats out. This is the front seat right here. It's got, to, to get into the back seat, you have these little knobs to turn, and that tilts the, the back forward. But the seats are gonna have to get recovered. Uh, Probably new springs, or all, all this rusty stuff will get, this will get cleaned up. Anyhow, I got the front seat out first, and then I went to the back seat, and that's where this, this is the bottom of the back seat. I was very careful, these are the sill plates. The old body by Fisher. Okay, I wanna, I'm hoping to be able to clean these up. I might be able to detail that and make it look new. I'll take the carpet out. All the sound deadening stuff will come out. Uh, and then I'll put lubricant where the bolts come through the floor. I'll put a lubricant on all that stuff. Then I'll push it back front, get it back on the lift, raise it up, and take all those body bolts loose. Then I'd let it back down on the ground, and then these go under the body, on the outside of the frame. So I can lift the body right up off of the frame. And uh, it'll stay in one piece for the time being. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I mean, this is what? The second day of work on it. <laughs> so the first day we got it running. Second day, I start taking it apart. <laughs> the problem I'm having is this. I got the steering loose down here. The problem is there's not enough room for it to fit between the manifold and the steering. So I loosened it up here, hoping to pull it down out of the way and it's not wanting to come. It's only got to come down half an inch but see I moved it up probably an inch and a half because I had to get it out of the steering box without taking the steering box off I guess what I'll do is raise it up just a skosh and uh, see if I can't finagle that steering because other than that I think it's ready to come all the way up then creep it up just a little bit and see where this thing uh, we can get around that steering. I might have to take the steering box. It might pull itself out. Let's see what it's doing. Ah, oh, that came coming yeah. loose. Good, I'll take it off. I'll take it off right there. Come on, baby. Go. Uh, that looks good. There we go. I think we're good. Yep. Okay, hey, up we go. What was that? Oh, it's a bridge break on this side. Shoot. <laughs> Engine transmission will come out, exhaust will be taken off, I'll just hack it off because it's no good. So you could drive.
this. Oh yeah. You put a seat on it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>